last episode we were inside a $700 soundbar. Now we are going to be inside the $700 subwoofer. This is the Acoustimas subwoofer 300, I don't know, that came with the soundbar. It is optional, but, but it is cheaper if you buy both of them at the same time. Well, we are going to remove all those screws. A lot of screws. And here we have the board. A few more, more screws. It is very compact for a powerful amplifier, but maybe it means that they use class D amplifiers. This is all aluminum as a heatsink and they are using a switch mode power supply too. Let's take a closer look. This one has to be the amplifier. Uh, and it is a TAS5631B. It's a 300 watt stereo and 400 mono. This is weird since usually the mono version is the, the the sum of the two two stereo outputs, but this in this case is just 400, but that's a lot of power. And it, you can have it in in different configurations: mono, that that is the one we have right now, 2.1 or quad or a stereo. 2.1 will be two one stereo or two stereos, and the other two will be zoomed as a bridge mode to have the configuration decided. Here is the monoral. This must be the configuration used in this subwoofer. Here is the stereo one, two outputs. And this is the quad, four outputs. And that could be also 2.1. Let's remove these, these screws. Inside here should be the subwoofer. And wow, this box. This is some kind of delay box. As, as you know, the effect of the subwoofer is that, uh, or ported subwoofer, is that the output on the front of the speaker has to have a, some kind of difference with the output on the back of the speaker. So, in order to increase the subwoofer sound and, and propagation, both use this kind of delay on the back of the subwoofer speaker. So, the difference will be some mi microseconds, but will be noted in the final quality of the sound. But I cannot unplug it, so... Here you have the inputs. It has a normal connection, like for a normal receiver that has a subwoofer output, acoustic in, status, service, Remember, this is a wireless subwoofer, so we don't need any of those connections for the sound bar. Well, let, let's see what else can we see inside here. What kind of speaker they are using in the front. I'm going to re remove a little bit more screws. And this is an 8. No, no, no. It has to be measured from the outside. 10 inches subwoofer. Feels, feels very firm. Remember, this is a 300 uh, or 400 watt subwoofer, so it cannot be flimsy or floppy. It has to be steady. Also, because the frequencies that a subwoofer manage are not very, very, very fast, like a tweeter or middle, so so it has to be some other kind of suspension. So let's put it back together. I don't know if this has to be the front or the back. Does it has a side? I don't know. I'm gonna put it. Um, I'm gonna put it just like that. It doesn't matter where. The only difference is where it says Pose. Or Bose. Bose is, is not an English term. The guy who created this is from India. So I'm not really sure how it has to be pronounced, but. There you have it, Bose or Bose. To, to put it all back together is just the reverse process.
and we are going to connect it to the soundbar to the SunTouch 300 volts soundbar and see if it connects it is blinking on orange it has to be steady white to in order to know that it is connected i press SunTouch and number seven on the remote control of the soundbar and let's see if it connects we are looking for solid white um there you have it now it is connected to the soundbar well this is it i'm gonna leave you with these pictures of uh what's inside a 35 dollars soundbar from philips as you can see not much that's why they are so cheap and both is so expensive thank you very much and subscribe